everybody, what's going on? Hellmite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today I want to talk about Nexus Blitz. I know I did a video way back when Nexus Blitz first came out, giving my first impressions, but now that the mode has come back, it's gotten some more updates, um, I wanted to give more of my thoughts and kind of mention where I think the game mode is at now that it's had some dev time, and if I think Nexus Blitz should stick around following these updates. Now, first and foremost, I think Nexus Blitz is much more polished than last time. I love that you can finally see the first event that's appearing in Champ Select. I like that there are way more events going around this time around, and a lot more rewards as well. It's not like the enemy team can always get BF Swords when they win the first event. There are a lot more events that may or may not happen, and a lot more rewards that may or may not happen. So, that's actually really, really cool. I quite enjoy that. The biggest thing going in its favor is that the game time is still its best factor. ARAMs can take a long time. Sometimes you can get through an ARAM quick enough and then you don't have to worry about it. But it feels like oftentimes ARAMs will go a lot longer than you expect. And then you either have people that you're waiting on that have to wait for you. Or you end up going over and then you're late to whatever else you're trying to do. So I do really enjoy that Nexus Splits has a guaranteed game length time. It will never go beyond a certain length. It will guaranteed be over by 20 minutes. That feels really, really good. Really good. The other thing, uh, one of the things I really enjoy is that there is no set meta. Right now, almost everything is viable. There are a few things, obviously, that are better than others. I feel like every time Pike is up, he gets played as he is pretty bonkers in this game mode. But I like that you can pretty much play whatever you want in Nexus Blitz. It never feels like there is a champion or two that you just can't ever play. It feels like, for the most part, I've just been picking things that I wanted to play. And hey, it kind of works out in some situations. So that's really, really cool. I do quite enjoy that. So, and I do think that the map is is very large and a little arbitrary. I think Riot have made enough improvements to make it a little nicer. Um, and I do like the the way that they made jungling work, actually. I, ha I haven't gotten an opportunity to jungle when it first came out. I've had since had an opportunity to take a look. And I do really like how that plays out. It does feel like a lot of times it just ends up with uh, four men mid. But that kind of seems like um, the meta is still developing and people are still figuring out exactly how best to play it. Now, I do want to talk about points of feedback, because I don't think Nexus Blitz is perfect quite yet. I know it's getting a lot of time because of all the quests coming out and such, so I do want to talk about that for a little bit here. Um, first of all, I don't think events are random enough. Uh, I do. I have had literally two games back-to-back -back that had the exact same events in the exact same order to each other. And that feels really bad because you're really hoping, hey, maybe we'll get something else this time and then it doesn't happen. And then you just kind of feel really disappointed with kind of how everything is going. So, um, And at the same time, the rewards being random can kind of suck because it does feel like it's one of those things where whenever the enemy team wins an event, they guaranteed are going to get something really incredible like BF Shields or Guardian Angels. Angels, whereas when you win an event, you get something useless like Mega Ocean Drake, which 9 times out of 10 doesn't actually do anything for you. So obviously, there's nothing you can do about that. That's just kind of a, a facet of the game mode. But it does lead to some feel-bad scenarios. Um, one of the biggest things as well um, for events is that some events heal you to full and give you full mana and everything when you first start them, which is pretty great. Others don't at all. So you do have an opportunity to end up in prize fight where you haven't been able to recall before the event happened and you have no health or mana, but you're still expected to 1v1 or 2v2 enemies. And that does feel kind of bad at times. So generally speaking, I think there's a lot of randomness. Obviously, that's just kind of the point of the game mode. I'm not going to say that it's not, but it does feel kind of disappointing at times when RNG can kind of screw you over. And I know a lot of people have talked about RNG previously, so that's a little bit of disappoint, uh, disappointing. The biggest thing for me, uh, I think, is that Nexus Blitz feels very snowball-y. It does feel like the team that wins the first event will oftentimes just be able to immediately snowball the next event. And at the same time, if you're not winning hard enough, it'll almost always come down to sudden death where you don't have an opportunity. It doesn't matter how hard you were winning if the enemy team is able to make you trickle and kill you and then able to focus the living nexus that you just kind of lose. Or if they have a team that's better at dealing with objectives, they just kind of win the game out from under you, even though you had the lead the entire time. So that can feel uh, pretty disappointing, I, ha I have to admit. Um, so generally then, where do I think Nexus Splits is at? Where do I think it should be? How do I think the game mode should continue to play out? Um, first and foremost, answering the biggest question, should Nexus Splits become permanent? My current opinion, with my uh, admittedly somewhat limited gameplay time, but my current opinion is I don't want Nexus Splits to be a full-fledged game mode. 
The biggest reason for this is because I think it, it's taking away dev time that Riot could be using to improve pre-existing game modes. If any of you guys remember Twisted Tree Line, that's the exact kind of game mode I think Riot should be prioritizing because that already exists. It already has a player base. It already has sort of a meta set up. It has a great new map that isn't just made out of reskin textures from Summoner's Rift. That's the kind of game mode I would like to see Riot actually put in time and prioritize development on, as opposed to creating this new game mode that I think has a host of problems that make it difficult to balance and that don't necessarily make it the best game mode for me. The other thing is, I don't think it's generally polished enough to become a full-fledged game mode. I think that generally when people are thinking of permanent League of Legends game modes, we're thinking of stuff like Summoner's Rift or Twisted Tree Line or, in general, game modes that have, you know, determined metas and that have actual strategy and champion picks in mind and a lot of these kinds of things. I think the biggest problem I have with Nexus Splits is that because it's so random, there's a limit to how much you can prioritize, even more so than Summoner's Rift, where a lot of times the strategy can come down to... You the randomness is pretty much limited to what elemental drakes are spawning when. Besides that, there almost isn't any randomness left in League of Legends permanent game modes. It's it's essentially all played out for you, and you kind of have to deal with things. Whereas in Nexus Splits, the game mode is essentially randomized by default. That's the default experience, is that you're going to have random events, you're going to have random rewards, different things are going to happen... You don't really know what's going to be good and what's going to be bad. And I think that's why Nexus Splits shouldn't be a permanent game mode. Because I think that if you did make it into a permanent game mode, okay, we're going to have Nexus Splits 100% of the time. I think inevitably you end up with players that get frustrated with the lack of balance. Even though this is supposed to be a four fun game mode. We already kind of see this with... Uh, ARAM, where the second ARAM became a permanent queue type, and you can just queue up for ARAM, it has its own map. We did put in a little bit of balance time. The second you did that, you had a lot of people complaining about ARAMs and making ARAM only accounts and saying, wow, this is completely unbalanced on ARAM, right? Please nerf. Even though ARAM was always a four fun game mode before then. And I think the exact same thing is going to end up happening to Nexus Splits, and that you're going to end up in a place where People are going to complain about the randomness. They're going to complain about certain things being too strong or too weak. And generally speaking, I think that's the sort of situation you're going to end up at if you do try to make Nexus Blitz into a full-fledged game mode. Which is why I think it would be great if it stayed as a featured game mode instead. I would actually completely love if that were the case because it has all the perfect trappings of a featured game mode. Its random nature means that you can't really take it seriously. Sure, some people always try hard in events like um, Ascension or even in Earth with people playing specifically all the busted champions in Earth. But I do really like the fact that um, Nexus Blitz is completely random and has a lot of weird things going on with it. That would make it completely perfect for a featured game mode. I think it's the kind of game mode, too, where you don't have to think too hard about your champion picks. Just play whatever you want. It'll probably work out. It, don't worry about it. The randomness keeps anyone from keep uh, from taking it too seriously. Generally, I think it would be a perfect featured game mode, just sticking around for weekends every so often, as opposed to being permanently on. And that's kind of my opinion on Nexus Splits. I know some people absolutely love this game mode and already want it to stick around forever. I know some people aren't a big fan, but generally, I do like this game mode. Don't get me wrong. I think it has a lot of potential. I think it's a lot of fun to play, but I don't think it should stick around as a permanent game mode. I would love to see that dev time devoted towards Twisted Tree Line or something else instead. Anyways, I know those are just my perspectives on this. Go ahead and leave me your comments down in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you really think Nexus Blitz should stick around forever, let me know. I would love to hear your reasoning why, basically. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you really enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing. I upload a video every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. And if you're looking for more Gravel Lantern content, you can check out my blog, which is linked down in the description. I upload an article just about each and every single day for your enjoyment. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will talk to you all later.